The goal of the event is, um, you know, you, you read all sorts of doom and gloom about the PC industry these days, and, and what we really want to show is that there's a ton of excitement about the PC technology at the high end, which in fact is, is a really growing market. Ten overclocking teams, uh, a, a mix of people from both factory and amateur style. We are doing about $20,000 USD in total of, uh, payout. We have 10 teams here with two guys per team, um, and we're, we're offering a total of $20,000 uh, in cash prizes, which is very large for an overclocking contest like this. We did want an atmosphere that, that would be high energy, that would be exciting. The cash prizes, if you talk to a lot of these guys down there, uh, it generates a lot of excitement and a lot of motivation for these guys. So uh, half the prizes, or, or actually uh, more than half the prizes, go to a uh, competition where everybody uses hardware that we provide them. So it's a very level play playing field, gives everybody a chance to win, even the guys who aren't sponsored. Um, and then we have another part of the contest that allows guys who are sponsored, who have special hardware, to really show some really high scores. We selected guys, uh, one that were going to be here for the show, and two that were that were setting high scores, that were setting world record scores. Now the fact is, um, a lot of these guys that are setting high scores work for companies. I mean, they're, they're really the equivalent of professional athletes. We know we're probably not going to break world records on straight frequencies. Uh, we expect to be somewhere between six and a half and seven gigahertz on LN2. Uh, air, obviously, we're significantly lower, as it always is. Uh, this is not a world record-breaking top frequency CPU, but as far as performance, bin for bin, this CPU will beat all previous generations. So.